There are several ways to select vertices or faces from a geometry node. The most suitable method of selection for the most freedom in procedural modeling is. It would be to use the index number. However, it is not easy to select using the index number when subdivide. In this video, we will look at how to subdivide the default cube and select the indices corresponding to each face. First, we will work by viewing the index number of each face through the Index Viewer node group. The link to download the Index Viewer node group is in the video description. Add a set material node to make sure the faces are selected. Make two materials. The select material represents selected faces, and the deselect material represents unselected faces. Since we will select using the index number, add an index node and a compare node. It is not difficult to select individual faces of the default cube in this setting. But the problem arises when adding a subdivide mesh node. The existing index will be changed like this. I'm not good at math, but I can feel the rules. Multiply the existing index number by 4, and the number increases sequentially. Let's try adding it to the node. If you multiply the existing index number by 4, then add 1, then multiply by 4, then add 2, multiply by 4, then add 3, you can select one side of the subdivided cube each time you change the index number. If you link the subdivide mesh level using a switch node, you will be able to freely select one side each time it is subdivided. What about subdivide level 2? It's complicated, but let's take a look. In this case, after multiplying by 16, the number continues to increase to form 16 numbers.
I'm not good at math, so this is my limit. I think those who are good at math can express this rule in a simple formula. In conclusion, it seems that it is not as difficult as I thought to select the faces of the desired part through the index number whenever subdivide occurs.